In 1763, Great Britain defeated the French and their Native American allies in the French and Indian War. Defending the American colonies was expensive, and to help pay for it, the British started taxing American goods like sugar, paper, and tea. Colonists were frustrated. They couldn't even vote in Parliament, and American patriots protested through petitions, boycotts, and violence. Massachusetts was especially vocal in its dissent. The arrival of British redcoats to keep order in Boston convinced many patriots that oppression was coming. One evening, an argument between a small redcoat contingent and local patriots escalated into a scuffle. Soon, an angry crowd had gathered. Lobster scoundrels! No one wants you here! Go back to England! Dirty dogs put rocks in the snowballs. Amidst the melee, someone yelled fire. No one knew whom. I can't see. The captain orders us to fire. Don't fire! Stop your firing! Five Bostonians were killed including African-American Crispus Attucks, who is sometimes called the first man killed in the American Revolution. The colonists were furious. The British troops were moved out of the city, the soldiers involved were arrested, and engravers like Paul Revere of future fame published lithographs of the bloody massacre. Believing that everyone deserved a fair trial, a local lawyer and future president, John Adams, agreed to defend the soldiers. To everyone's surprise, all the soldiers except two were found innocent because they were acting in self-defense. The trial gave John a national reputation, launching him to the Continental Congress where he would become a founding father and help write the Declaration of Independence. But the people of Massachusetts would not forget the Boston Massacre. In a few years, violence broke out again and set off the American Revolution. <laughs>